Okay, it's time for episode 22 of Wine, Music, and Games. This week, we have an awesome red from just north of us in Healdsburg. Some classic rockin' tunes. Not too classic, but certainly an anniversary had been reached, and we got a box set. And a game that you don't even realize is as, long, or is as short as it actually is. It's crazy. Wine, Music, and Games. <laughs> So how are you doing? How are you much? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. I mean, we are fully immune, immunized at this point. Got both shots in arms. At this point, we probably have even, when you're seeing this, had brunch with our parents who are fully immunized too for the first time in over a year mm -hmm. without, you know, masks on, separated tables and all this crud. We are very, very happy that everybody hopefully is getting vaccinated yeah. and we look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments about how things are going and what games you guys are playing and maybe even what wine you're drinking. So, Shell, There's what's a lot wine? to be celebrating Definitely. and you might as well have a nice, great bottle of wine to do it with. This is from Bella. It's a, a Zinfandel and it's from 2010. So we've had it for quite a while. It was celebratory. Every day is a celebration. That's true. <laughs> But um, this was our last Bella wine that we actually had, I think. I think it might have been, Because yeah. um, we used to be members there, and yeah. we remember there's a lot members there a long time. We really enjoy this winery. The yeah. experience of tasting there is in a beautiful cave. It's in Healdsburg. It's yeah. lovely. And um, we loved their wine. They had yes. great Syrah, great Zinfandel, really, you know, berry forward, yummy red wines. Yes. So if you like that, I would definitely recommend that you try Bella Winery. It's quite good. I mean, 11 years old, this thing held up great. Perfect. It was Perfect. wonderful. And, you know, we have gotten away from kind of new world wines and gone more old world style, as you probably have seen from some of the things that we've done. But man, this was a great bottle of wine. And though we're not really Zinfandel drinkers anymore, which is probably was one of the reasons that, really that we so loved. Yeah. We loved um Zinfandels initially that was our big yeah, big, big um, wine one of them and one a of lot them here in California Yeah, so. we have a very good selection of Definitely. Zinfandel here. Yeah, all right The music this time is the first album which has just been now released in an anniversary box set here of the Black Crows Shake Your Money Maker. This is the box set. This is the iconic album cover mm -hmm. great stuff this four a disc set has the original it has a disc of b-sides and then a two two discs of um, a live concert from that time period amazing stuff the black crows are just this great roots rock band yep. if you haven't pulled them off your shelf in a while check them out and because this has come out there have been a lot of cool things that they've been doing online so there's a yeah, bunch we've of been YouTube enjoying stuff that, that we've been yeah, seeing too yeah, as it's well been nice. so black crows shake your money maker all right, and for our game, Majesty for the Realm. This came out a few years ago from Mark Andre and Hans and Gluck, two to four players. It has seven plus on the box as the age limit and says 20 to 30 minutes. And even though I told Shelly it was a very fast game, when we pulled this off the shelf <laughs> again, again I forgot how fast Shelly it was. forgot how fast this was going to go because you have you're drafting cards every round and you are going to draft twelve cards total. The car the cards um, work synergistically, so you know they score during the round and then you score game, uh, points at the end. There is a little bit of a tackiness where you can bump other players' stuff off, but it's not too no, great. No, it's not. And good. the scores are going to be close regardless. And it definitely does not outstay its welcome. It is a quick thing. I think we played like three games last yeah. night before dinner. Great little game, Majesty for the Realm. If you're familiar with Splendor, same designer. Same designer, yeah. And um, what's really nice about it is these big um, poker chips that have a very nice tactile Which is just quality. like Splendor has those Yeah, poker you know, chips, that, so, that, yeah. that beautiful, those pieces add a yeah. lot. And it's 12, 12 rounds and you're done. Exactly. It is so fast. You'll be like, wait, wait, wait. I haven't got my engine going. <laughs> oh, your engine's done. Exactly. I, it yes, is it's done. Fun. It's fun. <laughs> All right. So let's review again. All right. This is Bella from Bella Winery. It's a Zinfandel. If you like Zinfandel, you should check out Bella Winery. They have a number of different Zinfandels from Bella. Yeah. This one is specific to an estate. So you'll see that over in the U.S. This is Lily Hill Estate. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff. 2010. Yeah. Yeah. 
Then, of course, The Black Crows, Shake Your Money Maker, a great album that has just been re-released in a box set. And finally, a great quick, got to remember it's quick, That's game, good. Majesty for the Realm from Mark andre and Hansem Gluck. Fun stuff, good things for this week. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you are enjoying your wine, your music, mm. and your games. We know we are. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>